It's the battle of the two game losing streaks. The Raiders hosting the Baltimore Ravens. Welcome to Vegas Nation. I'm Brian Salmon. Now, the silver and black sporting the Vegas strong logo on their helmet, honoring the victims of the Las Vegas shooting from getting that extremely right. Everything else, well, was extremely wrong. The Raiders go down 21 to three until Beast Mode wakes up and cuts the lead to 21 to 17. But the Ravens run away and hide from there, winning the game 30 to 17. EJ Manuel steps in for Derek Carr and plays pretty well, throwing for 159 yards and a touchdown. Michael Crabtree had 82 yards and a score, while Amari Cooper, well, he kind of played in the game, just one reception for eight yards. The Raiders have now lost three straight games. For more on the Raiders and the Ravens, we head to Oakland with Raiders beat writer Michael Gelkin and columnist Ed Grady. Yeah, thanks, Brian. Well, Michael, uh, look, overall, bad day for the Raiders, 30-17 final. But getting down 14-0 before, as Jack Del Rio said, most of the fans were even in the seats here at the Coliseum, a really bad, ominous beginning to what ended up being third straight loss. Yeah, and just one thing after another. The Raiders defer possession, so they kick off to begin the game. One of their cornerbacks, one of their four cornerbacks, Antonio Hamilton, suffered some sort of a knee injury, believed to be a torn meniscus. So he's out for the game after the very first play of the scrimmage. And then... 75-yard touchdown drive, including a 50-yard bomb to Mike Wallace that Sean Smith allows. All right, so next Sunday, Chargers, you know that team well. They got a win in New York this week uh, with Kansas City looming a few days later on a Thursday. Look, at this point, I don't know what is a must-win because at this point, I think you're just trying to get the next win after losing three straight. What do you see looking ahead for next week? Jack Del Rio seemed to intimate that Derek Carr will play. Do you believe he will? I do believe he'll play. He was fighting to play. He was really campaigning for that behind the scenes. Wasn't playing but that everyone anticipates in D week six against the Chargers we'll see Derek Carr I don't know if Derek Carr would have made the difference on this day I don't know if it the problems for the Raiders are so simple I think there are a lot of things going on offense or a lot of things going on defense and even special teams uh, they can get better that'll be next Sunday when the Chargers visit here the second of three straight home games for the Raiders ends on October 19th that string against first place Kansas City for Michael and Ed and Heidi, 30-17, your final score. Back to you guys in the Vegas Nation studios. All right, thank you very much, guys. Of course, we welcome in Hilberto Manzano. This guy is trying to take me out of my job by dressing better than me. I created a monster, folks. How you doing? I'm good. Not too much. I'm just trying to be a fashionista like you, man. A fashionista he is. And a fashionista on the football field, the Raiders were not today. It was a very bad game. Although, E.J. Manuel, who was all the talk leading into this game, in fact, he was starting for Derek Carr, he played pretty well. Had the touchdown, he led him to another touchdown with that nice run that he had, and he had no turnovers. But the Raider offense looks like poo-poo right now. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, that's one way to say it. But a lot, a lot of times backups come into the NFL and they do very poorly. But EJ Manuel did a really a solid job. I want to say great, but he had a, he did his job, but he didn't have help today. He didn't have Amari Cooper, the number one wideout, who's been missing the game for the last three weeks. You could say the whole year if you want. One catch for eight yards. Uh, he needs to step it up. And Jerry Cook did not help with that big fumble in the first play of the game. Raiders were down 14-0. You got to help out EJ more than that. And of course, Todd Downey, we, uh, you could say more on that. Yeah, I mean, Todd Downey, I mean, you know, we do the social sound off show. Shout out to Kelly Stewart, who we do. Um, yeah, they talk a lot about Todd Downey, the offensive coordinator, being his first season with the Raiders. Uh, Will Musgrave was with him last year. Fire Downey and everything <laughs> else. I mean, I guess, what is your take on the play calling? Have you liked it, not liked it? or? How effective has it been in your eyes? You know, it's, it's kind of hard to tell because when you don't have your key weapons like Cook and Cooper stepping up, you know, and not having their car today, you don't want to put all the blame on, on Todd Downey. But if you look at the last two weeks, 10, 10 points the last two games and today 17. They're going up a little bit, but 17 <laughs> yeah. points and 10 of the last two weeks for explosive ones for the Raiders, you know, that's not acceptable for a team that you were expecting to get 30 points per game. All right, and lastly, a spark. Uh, they, def they need something on the defensive side of the ball. Entering the season, a lot of people thought that they would be terrible. They played pretty well in the first couple of games, I guess you could say the Titans and Jets, but still, they played pretty well. But uh, again, social sound off. A lot of people on, uh, on uh, social media killing Sean Smith. <laughs> Those two big pass plays early were both on him. I mean, what do you think about that D? Oh, man. Joe Flacco was having a horrible <laughs> start to the season. And yes. He, we know what he needed. The, the Raiders secondary to kind of break out of that funk. And Sean Smith was the number one guy he attacked. And he's been, you know, very bad this year. You might have to start considering about benching. I know he's getting paid $9 million. That's right, $9 million for Sean Smith. But you can't worry about a salary. You can't trust the guy. But, again, the Raiders don't have a lot of bodies in, in secondary for cornerback, especially with no Conley. He's being hurt. So, you got to just you know, live with it and see if it gets better. Wow. Well, 
Uh, I guess I can live with you. You got better. You got good with your 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 dress. Hilberto Monsano, NFL writer for Review Journal. Thank you for coming in, my man. No problem. Thank you, Brian. All right. Thank you very much, guys. Now the Raiders. Next week they host the Los Angeles Chargers as the Silver and Black attempt to not lose their fourth straight game. So for Hilberto Monsano, Michael Gelkin, and Ed Graney, I'm Brian Salmon for Vegas Nation. Saying, see you next time.